The Open University OU is a public research university, and the biggest university in the UK for undergraduate education. The majority of the OU's undergraduate students are based in the United Kingdom and principally study off-campus. Many of its courses, both undergraduate and postgraduate, can also be studied anywhere in the world. There are also a number of full-time postgraduate research students based on the 48-hectare university campus where they use the OU facilities for research, as well as more than 1,000 members of academic and research staff and over 2,500 administrative, operational and support staff. The OU was established in 1969 and used the original television studios and editing facilities at Alexandra Palace, in North London, which had been recently vacated by the BBC. The first students enrolled in January 1971. The university administration is based at Walton Hall, Milton Keynes, in Buckinghamshire, but has administration centres in other parts of the United Kingdom. It also has a presence in other European countries. The university awards undergraduate and postgraduate degrees, as well as non-degree qualifications such as diplomas and certificates or continuing education units. With more than 174,000 students enrolled, including around 31% of new undergraduates aged under 25 and more than 7,400 overseas students, it is the largest academic institution in the United Kingdom and one of the largest in Europe by student number, and qualifies as one of the world's largest universities. Since it was founded, more than 2 million students have studied its courses. It was rated top university in England and Wales for student satisfaction in the 2005, 2006 and 2012 United Kingdom Government National Student Satisfaction Survey, and second in the 2007 survey. Out of 132 universities and colleges, the OU was ranked 43rd second quartile in the Times Higher Education Table of Excellence in 2008. Between the University of Reading and University of the Arts London, it was rated highly in design, art history, English, earth and environmental sciences, computer science, development studies, social policy and social work and sociology. It was ranked 36th in the country and 498th in the world by the Center for World University Rankings in 2018. The Open University is one of only three United Kingdom higher education institutions to gain accreditation in the United States of America by the Middle States Commission on Higher Education, an institutional accrediting agency, recognized by the United States Secretary of Education and the Council for Higher Education Accreditation, the BSc Honors, Computing and IT course is accredited by BCS, the Chartered Institute for IT and Quality Assured by the European Quality Assurance Network for Informatics Education EQANIE, the OU won the Teaching Excellence and Digital Innovation categories in the Guardian University Awards 2018. Topic. History The Open University was founded by the Labour government under Prime Minister Harold Wilson. Wilson was a strong advocate, using the vision of Michael Young. Planning commenced in 1965 under Minister of State for Education Jenny Lee, who established a model for the OU as one of widening access to the highest standards of scholarship in higher education, and set up a planning committee consisting of university vice-chancellors, educationalists and television broadcasters, chaired by Sir Peter Venables. The British Broadcasting Corporation BBC Assistant Director of Engineering at the time James Redmond, had obtained most of his qualifications at night school, and his natural enthusiasm for the project did much to overcome the technical difficulties of using television to broadcast teaching programs. Wilson envisioned the Open University as a major marker in the Labour Party's commitment to modernising British society. He believed that it would help build a more competitive economy while also promoting greater equality of opportunity and social mobility. The planned utilization of television and radio to broadcast its courses was also supposed to link the Open University to the technological revolution underway, which Wilson saw as a major ally of his modernization schemes. 
However, from the start Lee encountered widespread skepticism and even opposition from within and without the Labour Party, including senior officials in the day, her departmental head Anthony Crossland, the Treasury, ministerial colleagues, such as Richard Crossman, and commercial broadcasters. The Open University was realized due to Lee's unflagging determination and tenacity in 1965-67, the steadfast support from Wilson, and the fact that the anticipated costs, as reported to Lee and Wilson by Arnold Goodman, seemed very modest. By the time the actual, much higher costs became apparent, it was too late to scrap the fledgling Open University. The university was granted a royal charter by the Privy Council on 23 April 1969. Organization and administration Staff The majority of staff are part-time associate lecturers and, as of the 2009-10 academic year, almost 8,000 work for the OU. There are also 1,286 mostly full-time salaried academic employees central academics based at Walton Hall and staff tutors based in a variety of regional locations who are research active and responsible for the production and presentation of teaching materials, 1,931 who are academic related and 1,902 support staff including secretaries and technicians. Salaries are the U's main cost. Over £275 million for the 2009-2010 academic year. In 2010 the OU became one of the Sunday Times' best places to work in the public sector. Topic. Credit union Open University Employees Credit Union Limited is a savings and loans cooperative established by the university for staff in 1994. A member of the Association of British Credit Unions Limited, it is authorized by the Prudential Regulation Authority and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority and the PRA. Ultimately, like the banks and building societies, members' savings are protected against business failure by the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. Topic. Academic divisions Topic Faculties In 2016, the university reorganized its departments and now operates with the Faculties of Arts and Social Sciences, the Open University Business School OUBS, the Open University Law School, Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics and Access STEMA, Wellbeing, Education and Language Studies WELLS, Institute of Educational Technology IET, Knowledge Media Institute KMI. Topic. Business School In 1982, Open University offered a course titled The Effective Manager, developed by a team that was led by Charles Handy. After the reported success of the course, Derek S. Pugh proposed the establishment of a business school. In 1988, the Open University Business School OUBS, was founded by the Faculty of Management Department, for which Professor Andrew Thompson was appointed to head. Thompson's main goal was the offering of an MBA program, which was eventually funded through a grant from the Department of Education and Science, Day. In 1989, the first class of MBA students were enrolled. The Open University Business School is accredited by the international accrediting bodies AACSB, AMBA, and ECIS. It was placed in the top 1% of UK business schools after having received triple accreditation. The OU Business School's MBA program was ranked 13th in the Financial Times's global rankings of online and distance learning MBA providers, which featured five European schools, four of which were in the UK. Topic: Singapore Institute of Management Open University Centre. 
From 1992 to 2005, the Singapore Institute of Management SIM ran the Open University Degree Program OUDP in collaboration with the Open University United Kingdom OUUK, which was renamed the Singapore Institute of Management's Open University Centre SIM OUC as one of SIM's autonomous entity. In 2005, after SIM formed SIM University Unisim, it took over SIM OUC students and granted those who graduated in 2006 a choice between a Unisim or OUUK degree. Topic. Academic profile Topic. Teaching methods The OU uses a variety of methods for teaching, including written and audio materials, the internet, disc-based software and television programs on DVD. Course-based television broadcasts by the BBC, which started on 3 January 1971, ceased on 15 December 2006. Materials comprise originally authored work by in-house and external academic contributors, and from third-party materials licensed for use by OU students. For most modules, students are supported by tutors, associate lecturers, who provide feedback on their work and are generally available to them at face-to-face -face tutorials, by telephone, and or on the internet. A number of short courses worth 10 credits are now available that do not have an assigned tutor but offer an online conferencing service Internet Forum where help and advice is offered through conferencing moderators. Some modules have mandatory day schools. Nevertheless, it is possible to be excused on the basis of ill health or other extenuating circumstances and many courses have no mandatory face-to-face -face component. Similarly, some modules have traditionally offered week-long summer schools offering an opportunity for students to remove themselves from the general distractions of their life and focus on their study for a short time. Over the past 10 years the university has adopted a policy of separating residential modules from distance full-time taught modules. Exemption from attendance at residential schools, always as an alternative learning experience ALE, is sometimes available for disabled students and others who find it impossible to attend in person see Qualifications Undergraduate section For many years the OU produced television and radio programs aimed at bringing learning to a wider audience. In its early years most of these were in the form of documentaries or filmed lectures. Latterly, most OU-associated programming was mainstream and broadcast in peak hours, including series such as Rough Science and Battle of the Geeks, while older-style programming was carried in the BBC Learning Zone. In 2004 the OU announced it was to stop its late-night programs on BBC Two, and the last program was broadcast at 5.30 a.m. on 16 December 2006. The OU now plans to focus on semi-academic television programs, such as many now broadcast on BBC4. The Quality Assurance Agency for Higher Education Review published in December 2015 found five areas of good practice and made three recommendations for improvement. The English National Survey of Student Satisfaction has twice put the Open University in first place. In October 2006, the OU joined the Open Educational Resources Movement with the launch of OpenLearn. A growing selection of current and past distance learning course materials will be released for free access, including downloadable versions for educators to modify under the Creative Commons by NCSAW license, plus free collaborative learning support tools. The OU is researching the use of virtual worlds in teaching and learning, and has two main islands in Second Life. These islands are called Open University Island and Autopia Village. They are separated by a third region, OU Ocean. In May 2009 these regions formed the basis of a case study by Linden Lab, the company which owns Second Life. As of mid-2010, the university led the list of contributing universities in the number of downloads of its material from the educational resources site iTunes U, with downloads of over 20 million. Open University continues to adopt Moodle as the virtual learning environment VLE with their own team deploying custom plugins. 
Since 2013, the OU has set up a MOOC platform called FutureLearn which is now the UK's largest provider of free online courses. Topic assessment methods Open university modules are often assessed using an equal weighting of examinations and coursework. The coursework component normally takes the form of between two and seven tutor-marked assignments TMAs, and, occasionally, may also include up to six multiple-choice or missing word ten-question interactive computer-marked assignments ICMAs. The examinable component is usually an invigilated three-hour paper regardless of the size of the module although on some modules it can be up to three three-hour papers, but an increasing number of modules instead have an EMA end of module assessment, which is similar to a TMA, in that it is completed at home, but is regarded as an exam for grading purposes. Modules results are sometimes issued on a graded basis, consisting of pass grades 1, threshold 85%, a distinction, 2, 70 to 84%, 3, 55 to 69%, and 4, 40 to 54%, and fail below 40%. This grade is calculated as the lower of the overall continuous assessment score OCAS, and overall examination score OES. These grades can be weighted according to their level, and combined to calculate the classification of a degree. An undergraduate degree will weight level 3 modules twice as much as level 2, and in postgraduate programs all M-level modules are equally weighted. Topic. Qualifications Topic. Undergraduate Open University modules have associated with them a number of credit accumulation and transfer scheme CATS credits, usually 30 or 60 depending on the quantity of the material in the module and a level 1, 2, 3, or 4 corresponding to the complexity, with 120 credits roughly equating to the year of study for a full-time student. The OU offers a large number of undergraduate qualifications, including certificates, diplomas, and bachelor's degrees, based on both level and quantity of study. An OU undergraduate degree requires 300 or 360 for honors CATS credits. Students are generally advised not to undertake more than 60 credits per year, meaning that an undergraduate degree will take typically six years to complete. With the exception of some degrees in fast-moving areas such as computing, there is generally no limit on the time which a student may take. Students need special permission to take more than 120 credits equivalent to full-time study at any time. Such permission is not usually granted. Originally the BA was the only undergraduate degree, and it was unnamed. The modern OU grants degrees of Bachelor of Arts BA, Science BSc, Laws LLB, and Engineering Beng. The BA and BSc may be named following a specified syllabus or unnamed constructed of courses chosen by the student degrees. Many OU faculties have now introduced short modules worth 10 credits. Most of these modules are taught online and start at regular intervals throughout the year. They typically provide an introduction to a broader subject over a period of 10 weeks. These are generally timed during vacations at conventional universities in order to take advantage of their facilities. Some science modules, which require only home study, are complemented by residential courses, in order to allow the student to gain practical laboratory experience in that field. Typically, an award of degree or diploma will require completion of both. Different modules are run at different times of the year, but typically, a 30 or 60 credit module will run either from October to June or from February to October. Assessment is by both continual assessment with, normally, between four and eight assignments during the year and, for most, a final examination or, on some modules, a major assignment. Topic. Degrees. As well as degrees in named subject, the Open University also grants open bachelor's degrees where the syllabus is designed by the students by combining any number of Open University modules up to 300 credits for an open degree and 360 credits for an open honors degree. The main restriction on which courses can be included is that there must be at least 60 at level 3 for the 
ordinary degree, and 120 at level 3 for honors and in both cases no more than 120 at level 1. The open degree may be awarded as a Bachelor of Arts Open or a Bachelor of Science Open either with or without honors. Without honors, at least 150 credits at level 1 and above and 60 credits at level 2 and above are required in the field, either art or science, for the open degree to carry that name. For a degree with honors, no more than 120 credits at level 1, 120 credits at level 2 and above and 120 credits at level 3 and above are required. Topic. Other qualifications The Open University grants undergraduate certificates abbreviated CERT typically awarded after 60 completed credits at level 1 or level 3 where each credit corresponds to roughly 10 hours of study, therefore 60 credits represent about 600 hours of effort, diplomas abbreviated DIP after 120 credits, typically 60 credits at level 2 and 60 credits at level 3. Open University also awards foundation degrees abbreviated FD. OU also offers a limited number of CERT 120 CATS and DEFI 240 CATS. Topic: Postgraduate The Open University provides the opportunity to study for a PhD on a part-time distance, or a full-time basis on-site for science subjects and most social sciences, off-site with some supervisions on-site for arts in a wide range of disciplines as well as an ed for professionals in education. Since 2019 the Open University has also offered a professional doctorate for healthcare workers. The university offers a range of master's levels modules such as the MBA and MPA, MSc, MA and MED, and MREs, and a number of postgraduate diplomas and certificates including innovative practice-based modules and postgraduate computing qualifications for professionals. Postgraduate certificates are awarded for 60 credits of study on specified modules, postgraduate diplomas are awarded for 120 credits of study on specified modules. The university offers advanced diplomas that involve 60 credits at undergraduate level and 60 credits at postgraduate level. These are designed as bridges between undergraduate and postgraduate study. <laughs> Topic. Degree ceremonies Unlike most United Kingdom universities, degree ceremonies at the Open University are not graduation ceremonies as such, the occasion on which degrees are formally conferred on those who have achieved substantive degrees, although honors degrees are also normally conferred on these occasions. The Open University degree ceremony is officially known as a presentation of graduates at which those who have already had a degree bestowed on them are presented to the university chancellor or his, her representative. Open university graduates normally graduate in absentia at a joint meeting of the university's council and senate congregation, which takes place at a meeting entirely separate from the degree ceremony. The university's degree ceremonies occur throughout the year at various prestigious auditorium venues located throughout the United Kingdom, plus one each in Ireland and continental Western Europe. In the year 2010 the OU held 26 degree ceremonies including Dublin, Manchester, Glasgow, Ely and Versailles. These ceremonies are presided over by a senior academic at pro-vice-chancellor level or higher, and have the normal formal rituals associated with a graduation ceremony, including academic dress, procession and university mace. In year 2000, the Open University was the first to host an online, virtual, graduation ceremony in the United Kingdom together with an audience at the OOS campus in Milton Keynes. 26 students in eight countries, from the United States of America to Hong Kong, were presented for their master's degrees in the online graduation, including, from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT, Tim Berners-Lee one of the founders of the World Wide Web on whom was conferred an honorary doctorate. Topic. Research 
Like other UK universities, the OU actively engages in research. The OU's Planetary and Space Sciences Research Institute has become particularly well known to the public through its involvement in space missions. In October 2006, the Cassini-Huygens mission including 15 people from the OU received the 2006 Laurels for Team Achievement Award from the International Academy of Astronautics IAA. Cassini-Huygens' successful completion of its seven-year, two-billion-mile journey in January 2005 to Saturn ended with Huygens' landing farther away from Earth than any previous probe or craft in the history of space exploration. The first instrument to touch Saturn's moon Titan was the surface science package containing nine sensors to investigate the physical properties of Titan's surface. It was built by a team at the OU led by Professor John Zemecki. The OU employs over 500 people engaged in research in over 25 areas, and there are over 1,200 research students. It spends approximately £20 million each year on research, around £6 million from the Higher Education Funding Council for England, the remainder from external funders. The Open University also runs the Open Research Online Oro, website. Oro is a collection of over 40,000 open access research outputs across a broad range of research areas. Scientists from the Open University are supporting one of a series of groundbreaking missions by NASA to go back to the Moon. It is a prime example of the world-leading lunar research carried out by OU academics, which includes researching methods that may help build future habitats. The OU has teamed with NASA Goddard Spaceflight Center in cooperation with the European Space Agency to develop an instrument called PITMS Prospect Ion Trap Mass Spectrometer to monitor the very thin atmosphere near the surface of the Moon. The instrument will be carried to the Moon in 2021 by a commercially provided lander, under NASA's Artemis program. Topic. Students In the 2015-16 academic year, there were 174,739 enrolled students. Topic. Demographics Enrollment numbers show a tremendous difference from 2009-2010 to 2016-2017. Most students were from England, 99,834, while 14,903 were from Scotland, 6,668 from Wales, 3,667 from Northern Ireland and 4,900 from elsewhere in the European Union, plus others elsewhere. 60% of undergraduates were female, with 53% of those taking postgraduate modules being male. 22,664 of students in 2015-16 had declared disabilities, according to The Guardian the fall in the number of part-time students was accelerated in 2012 when tuition fees rose and there was limited financial support for part-time students. The Open University saw a 30% drop of part-time students from 2010-11 and 2015-16, while most of those studying are mature students, an increasingly large proportion of new undergraduates are aged between 17 and 25, to the extent that the OU now has more students in this age range than any other UK university. In the 2003-2004 academic year around 20% of new undergraduates were under 25, up from 12.5% in 1996-1997, the year before top-up fees were announced. In 2010 approximately 55% of those under 25 were also in full-time employment. In 2010, 29,000 undergraduates were in this age range. By 2011, 32,000 undergraduates were under 25 years old, representing around 25% of new students. The majority of students in the 2015-16 academic year were aged between 25 and 34 years old, with the median age of new undergraduates being 28. As of 2014, the OO's youngest graduate was a 15-year-old boy from Wales who gained a BSc First Class Honours in 2014. The OU works with some schools to introduce a level students to OU study and in 2009 10-3% of undergraduates were under 18 years old.
Topic. Courses Unlike other universities, where students register for a program, OU students register separately for individual modules which may be 30 or 60 CATS credits and formerly available in 10, 15, or 20 credits, equivalent to 15 or 30 ECTS credits. These modules may then be linked into degree programs. During the 2009-10 academic year social studies was the most popular study area with 16,381 full-time equivalent students, followed by biological and physical sciences 12,357 and historical and philosophical studies 8,686. Student numbers even on smaller undergraduate programs, such as creative arts and design are still significant 2,528 as are postgraduate registration on programs such as mass communications and documentation 123 full-time equivalent students. The most popular module during 2009-10 was DD 101 An Introduction to the Social Sciences 7,512 students, followed by AA 100 The Arts Past and Present B120 An Introduction to Business Studies, K 101 An Introduction to Health and Social Care and Y 163 Starting with Psychology. Topic. Fees and financial assistance 17,634 students received financial assistance towards their study in 2015-16. The typical cost for United Kingdom-based students of a bachelor's honours degree at the OU was between £3,780 and £5,130 in 2009-10. From September 2012 the government reduced its funding for all students residing in England and fees went up to compensate. English students pay higher fees than those living in the rest of the United Kingdom. The average cost of one full-time year or 120 credits rose to £5,000, bringing the cost of an average bachelor's honours degree for an English student to £15,000. European Union and international students pay more as the university does not receive government funding for them. The most important revenue stream to the Open University is now academic fees paid by the students, which totaled about £157 million in 2009-10 and £248 million in 2015-16. The university enrolled fewer than 50,000 students in the 1970-71 academic year, but it quickly exceeded that number by 1974-75. By 1987-88 yearly enrollment had doubled to 100,000 students, passing 200,000 by 2001-02 and 250,000 in 2009-10. Numbers fell when the fee regime changed. Cumulatively, by the end of 2009-10 the OU had educated more than 1.5 million students and awarded 819,564 qualifications after successful assessment. In addition, the Open University provides certification for qualifications at Ruskin College in Oxford and Richmond, the American International University in London, a private liberal arts institution. Until 2008, it provided the same service for the University of the Highlands and Islands in Scotland. Topic. Open University Students Association The Open University Students Association is the equivalent of a student's union for the Open University, and is a registered charity wholly funded by the Open University OU. The association is governed by a board of trustees and a central executive committee. Each student registered with the OU automatically becomes part of the student's association unless they elect to formally opt out. It offers opportunities to meet up, volunteer, find information and access services to support learning. Topic. Notable current and former academics. Jocelyn Bell Burnell, astronomer Tim Benton, art historian Andrew Blowers, geographer 
Gordon Brown, former Prime Minister and OU tutor Catherine Cook, architect and Russian scholar Nigel Cross, design researcher David Edmonds, philosopher, broadcaster Catherine Ellis, music historian Dimitra Fimi, writer and academic Anna Ford, journalist Brian J. Ford, author Monica Grady, meteoricist Brian Goodwin, biologist Oswald Hanfeling, philosopher and interpreter of Wittgenstein Stuart Hall, social scientist Arthur Marwick, historian Doreen Massey, geographer Bob Moon, international education advisor Oliver Penrose, mathematician Mike Pence, physicist Colin Pillinger, planetary scientist Stephen Rose, biologist John Rutter, composer Russell Stannard, physicist Hilary Wainwright, editor of Red Pepper magazine Nigel Warburton, philosopher, author Margaret Wetherill, discourse analyst, social psychologist Glenn White, astronomer Robin Wilson, mathematician John Zemecki, space scientist Topic. Notable alumni, graduates and honorees The OU has over 2 million alumni, including Tim Berners-Lee, engineer, computer scientist and inventor of the World Wide Web, recipient of OU Honorary Doctorate Joan Armitrading, singer, songwriter and guitarist Elizabeth Arnold, children's writer Craig Brown, former Scotland football manager Natalia Kaspersky, co-founder and co-owner of Kaspersky Lab Air Chief Marshal Sir Brian Borage, Royal Air Force RAF officer Katie Kavanagh, former Coronation Street TV soap actress, played character Julie Carp Peter Cottrell, soldier, author and military historian Bobby Cummins OBFRSA, charity chief executive and reform defender, recipient of OU honorary degree Ramala Garai, actress Frank Hampson, illustrator and creator of Dan Dare Sir Lenny Henry, entertainer Myra Hindley, convicted murderer and prisoner Jerry Hughes, sailor, first single-handed crossing of the Atlantic by a deaf person Neil Hughes, one of 14 participants in the UP series, lay preacher and liberal Democrat counselor Mylene Class, actress and media personality Paul Marsden, writer, businessman and former Labour, liberal Democrat MP Neil McIntosh, journalist Gordon Pask, cybernetician and psychologist David Andrew Phoenix Obe, biochemist John Reed, labor politician and former cabinet minister Tallulah Riley, actress Graham Smith, CEO of Republic Mary Stewart, vice-chancellor of the University of Lincoln David Wilkinson, psychologist, ambiguity theorist and Oxford academic Meli Zanawi, former prime minister of Ethiopia Topic. In fiction The Open University has been featured in many films and television programs. The plot of Educating Rita surrounds the working class character aiming to improve herself by studying English literature. She attends private tutorials run by alcoholic lecturer Frank. Television characters have also followed OU courses. These include Anne Bryce in the BBC sitcom Ever Decreasing Circles, Yvonne Sparrow in Goodnight Sweetheart and Bullman, in the ITV spin-off from the series Strangers. Sheila Grant Sue Johnston, was accused of having an affair with her tutor in Brookside. Onslow, a character from Keeping Up Appearances, watches open university programming on television from time to time. In autumn 2006, Lenny Henry was a star in Slings and Arrows, a one-off BBC television drama which he also wrote, about someone who falls in love while on an OU English literature course. 
Henry has himself completed an OU degree in English. In the 2006 07 TV series Life on Mars, Sam Tyler received messages from the real world via open university programs late at night. Doreen from Birds of a Feather announced she had been accepted by the Open University to do a degree in psychology and began studying with the university in Series 3. In the 2016 novel Swing Time by Zadie Smith, the narrator's mother is a student of the Open University. Topic. Partner institutions All Nations Christian College ADA, the National College for Digital Skills American College of Thessaloniki Amity Global Varsity Arab Open University Architectural Association School of Architecture Ballet West Bridgewater and Taunton College Calderdale College Cambridge Muslim College Christie's Education City of Liverpool College Craven College Education for Health Havering College of Further and Higher Education HKU, University of the Arts Utrecht, Netherlands Hochschule Fresenius Heidelberg Hull College Group including Harrogate College Leeds City College London College of Creative Media London College of International Business Studies Maryvale Institute New College Durham Newham College University Centre Niccolo Cusano Italian University London Nottinghamshire Healthcare NHS Foundation Trust Plymouth College of Art Regents University London Richmond, the American International University in London Royal Navy Fleet Air Arm Military Aviation Academy Ruskin College, Oxford South Essex College The American College of Greece, Derry College The Sheffield College University Centre Quayside Topic. See also Category, Academics of the Open University List of Open University alumni FutureLearn OpenLearn and former site Open2 Net Open College of the Arts Open University Press Credit Unions in the United Kingdom University of Hagen Notes <laughs>